welcome back to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. And in this episode, I thought I would teach you a little bit about how to use iPhoto to organize your pictures if you're on a Mac. And I know a lot of Windows people out there right now are saying, Jack, I don't have a Mac, but that's okay. I have a lot of emails I've been receiving from Mac folks. And I figured I would just take a few minutes and just show you how to organize your pictures in iPhoto. So they're easy to find, just like I showed you how to organize back in using the um, Photoshop Element 6. Now I showed you how to edit your pictures from the actual uh, iPhoto, but now we're going to go ahead and organize some pictures. Under albums, you can see here, I have a bunch of different folders that I have albums in. This is just the way I put things into a category, so I know that I can find them very easily. Like if I want to go to Ohio Caverns, I can click here, and I can just click, and right away I'm on the Ohio Caverns. And these are some pictures here that my daughter actually took at the Ohio Caverns. So now you're asking, Jack, how did you do that? Well, it's very simple. All I did was, first of all, I went up here under File, and then we just simply go down to New Folder. And we're going to call this uh, Folder, um, let's just say Family Pictures or family pics. Now I have a, a picture or a folder called family pics with no albums in it. Now we're going to go ahead and we could either create an album or I found a really neat way in iPhoto to actually after you import your pictures in to actually take those pictures and put and create an album right from those pictures. Let's go up here to the last imported. These are some shots I've been playing around with earlier today of um, you know my old friend the gnome and I'm going to save these into this folder called family pics as you'll see there's a little icon here if I click that it's going to highlight all the pictures that I just imported 26 photos and I just left click and I drag that down and I say left click because I always have my mouse even though this is a Mac I have it set up on a two button mouse and I drop that then I'm going to give this um, folder here, this new album, a name. Okay, no, hit enter. Now if I'm out here looking around, and I go back in here, I can click on this, and I can go right back to my new album. There's my new album. That was how easy that album was to create. Now, Let's take these, and I know some of these are pretty bad, folks, because <clears throat> uh, I've just been playing around a little bit with uh, portrait taking today and uh, trying to get some different shots here. Now we want to make it even easier to find your pictures um, because sometimes you want to find all the pictures in different albums based on a keyword. All we need to do is go up here under Window, Show Keywords, and then we're going to edit the keywords. Now, we have one marked family here, but I'm going to go ahead and make one of my name. So I hit the plus sign. Let's pull this over here so we can see it's a little better. Hit the plus sign, and I type in here, Jack. And click OK. Now at that point, you can see where it says quick group is Jack. All right, and that's where my new keyword is going to be staying at, right there. Now, let's go ahead and select on some of these pictures. I'm holding the command key down as I click around here and I select the different pictures. And then you go back up here to Window, Show Keywords. Now, all we got to do at that point is click on that. And you can see now, mark them all with the jack. Very easy. Now if we're back out here, let's say we're at the Columbus Zoo, and I'd like to see the jack pictures. You can click down here in the search box, and right here beside you'll see a little magnifying glass. Click on keywords. Now look, if we click on jack,
it should have took us right back in. <laughs> That's what you get sometimes when you get the actual Let's go back to that particular album. Let's try this again. There we go. Just the pictures that I marked with Jack are showing up in that particular album. So this is a really neat way if you're in an album and you have a bunch of different pictures, you can start breaking those pictures down a little bit. You can also search down here. You can actually, uh, let me see here. You can search by date. You can see the different dates in here that you actually uh, have some pictures in. Let's look at what we took in April. There's some uh, pictures of a server rack. June, pictures of a house. May, people working on the house. January, some basketball games. You can click back through them. December, little Christmas time pictures. And there you go. So each of these are actually the whole entire year we're going to close this you can do it by ratings if you rated any of your pictures which I have none of mine rated and then go back to all this will show you all your pictures once again well hopefully that showed you a little bit about how to actually organize your pictures a little bit better in um, iPhoto and I hope you now understand that using folders to kind of build a category and then placing albums in that folder is just a really nice way to be able to jump through and find your pictures very very easily and very quickly well folks I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, sorry for a couple little mishaps there but that's how it is when I uh, record these live they don't always go exactly the way I want to but I still get the point across Thanks to everybody for the great comments out there. Uh, it's been really nice reading them, and I know I've responded to pretty much everybody that's commented. And I'm glad you're enjoying the tutorials. If you'd like to know anything more about iPhoto, please email that in and ask me, and I'm sure I can uh, point you in the right direction. So, have a uh, great rest of this weekend, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.